Hey guys, this is Hot Wheels back here. Today we are going to be doing another review video um, of the Euro Style Complete set from the 2016 Car Culture set. First of all, we started with the Japan Historics, which includes the Toyota 2000 GT, the Skylines, two of the Skylines of 2000 GT, and the other one, um, Dawson 510 Wagon, and the uh, Mazda RX3. But now we have five different models. For this batch of car culture, which is apparently Euro style. So, um, I'll show you a Euro style package right here. This is what they look like with the car on them. So, if you see these in Toys R Us or wherever, Target, Walmart, you know, look, that's Euro style. I will be doing a review video very soon on the truck set. So, you can see the trucks, um, are another, that's the next batch of the, uh, car culture. Um, and then the previous batch of the car culture is. As I said, the Japan Historic with this packaging. These are not readily available anymore, so you'll probably find Euro style or trucks if you're in the stores around um, early September of 2016. Just close the door. Um, and so we're just going to take a quick look at the Euro style set. I'm going to tell you what I like and dislike about every car, and I'm going to give it a score. How long until did it? 92 BMW M3. I hate the wheels for the Euro style. That's one thing I hate. So none of them are getting five. That's for sure. Two out of five. Kind of pathetic. No headlight tampers, taillight tampers. Just pull easy. It's pretty dull. Man. It's cool to have this sometimes. It's cool to have a BMW M3. But not when it's very plain like that. Two out of five. Uh, golf. This is a new model, but it's going to be... But in 2017, they have it on the Art Car series for the A case. Um, but this came out before. Um, I would, they still consider it in the main line a new model since it's never been released in the main line. But even if cars have been released in other series, but they've never been released in the main line, they're still considered new models for like 2016, 17, I believe. But um, here we have a look at the Volkswagen Golf MK7. I think this is a cool cast thing. Wheels, of course, don't appeal to me. But um, I would say it's three. Point five. They're actually nice. Maybe a three, three point five. But where are the headlights and tampos? Headlights and tail lights. You have a little front Volkswagen tampo right there. So I guess that's nice. Um, I just think it looks kind of nice in the blue. Oops. Fiat five hundred. This one gets a good score. Um, not because of the wheels. It's because of the paint and the headlights, the logos, the tail lights. This gets a four. So I think this is one of the better ones in the set. This Porsche right here, the 911 GT3 RS. No headlights, taillights. I think it looks cool with the Magnus Walker um, Outlaw tampos and all these great tampos. I would say it's a 3.5. The wheels I like on this one, though. That's maybe even a 4. I don't know. I like that one, though. That really appeals. Here we have the Porsche 993 GT2. I would rate this one a 3. Just because it has, it isn't, like, wheel choice, and I don't love the colors together. I don't think it looks that great. And the wheels don't look good on it either. So I would say these two are my, these three are my least favorite. I have a whole bunch. And I think these two are definitely my favorite. I think they're around the same score. Four, maybe 3.8. I don't know. But I, I like these for different reasons. I just think they're cool. A lot of great cars that they're making. Japan Historics, I like all of them, except the Toyota. Um, Euro style, these two are my favorites. Uh, trucks, I like everyone but the Silverado. Um, so we'll talk about that. Um, but for now, guys, thanks for watching. Please press that subscribe button and please like. Have a good day.